what's up guys this is rvc and this video is all about updating your ule phone power to android 6.0 marshmallow so uh there are some things which you need to know first like uh, by the way this only applies to windows 10 so if you have a windows 10 good luck uh so basically first of all what we need to know is the version of the windows is it a 32 bit or a 64 bit if you don't know how or you don't know what your version of windows is you just uh, come to i'll just show you here on the screen like you have to right click here then you go to system on the system you can see the processor the ram and the system type this system type is actually a 64 bit so if you use this 32 bit you will download that 32 bit version i will leave the link in this the description below so if you know which uh, version it is then we just uh, need download three things i will leave a link of where you can download all these drivers in the description below so that i make your life easier So first of all, what you need to know after you download these uh, three drivers, uh, not three drivers, but the MTK drivers and you try and install it, it won't work. So the only thing which worked for me, I will show you right now, is you have to disable the Windows. If it's a 64-bit, you have to disable this driver signature enforcement. So how do you do that? Uh, just follow the steps on the screen. And uh, I believe it's self-explanatory. I wish I could show you the steps from here henceforth but uh, the problem is when I just uh, switch off my PC then you won't be able to follow these steps. So I will just uh, leave the how you can disable this uh, signature and for uh, the driver signature enforcement on uh, like a notepad so that you can read and just follow the instructions. Then after that you install this mtk drivers and i will show you just follow the steps i'm currently doing for you to install this mtk drivers Just in case, if this MTK driver gives an error, don't worry about that.
make sure this scatter file actually comes from the Ulefone Power Android 6.0. And please check what I've highlighted in this the other side which is high speed and auto detect. Then we can start with the process. This process doesn't take time, I believe uh, maximum uh, 5 minutes. Then you just have to unplug your phone and it's going to restart. Well that's basically it. If you have any questions let me know in the comment section below. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so, share this video. And I guess I'll have to see you in the next one. Bye.